with the viewers. Yeah, welcome back to our chemistry class. Today's class, we are going to be discussing on the particulate nature of matter, specifically atomic structure. Before we proceed in this important topic, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Now, we already know what matter is. We know that a matter is anything that has weight or mass and occupies space. And this matter is made up of what we call an atom. What's an atom? An atom is the smallest particle of an element which, which takes place in a chemical reaction. Now, we now want to study the structure of an atom. Because it's very important. An atom, being the smallest particle of an element, it is made up of three subatomic particles. But before we now measure the subatomic particles, how does this atom look like? An atom looks like something like a circle. Inside the circle, we have some particles inside the circle. These particles, let us shed some, some particles here. Outside this, uh, the outside these particles here, we have another particles here, another one can be here. Now, this is structure of an atom. This atom, as we are now looking at, it is made up of two parts. The first part is the nuclear part, and the second part is the shell. Now, inside this, we have two particles. Let's call this one neutron. Then these other ones, let's call them protons. Then this one here, we call it electron. Now these three are what we call the nuclear parts of it, the nuclear charge, otherwise known as the nucleus. Then we have a line where we can find this electron. This line is what we call shell, or we call it orbital. Now, what is a shell? A shell or an orbiter is an imaginary line where electrons are found. They are imaginary lines. Meaning that they are not a real line. But what happens is these electrons are found in a circular path surrounding this inner nuclear charge. So they are found in a circular path. That is when they now say, okay, let us assume they are, they are in a circular line. So in this case, a shell or an orbit is an imaginary line where electrons are found. Now, these protons, they are possibly charged. Why neutron has no charge? Now, uh, sorry, this is nucleus. So protons and neutron, they are the nucleus. So the nucleus is positively charged. Why? Because it takes the charge of the proton. It takes the charge of the proton because neutron has no charge. Why electron is negatively charged? So an electron is negatively charged. So in this case, we can now see that uh, an atom is made up of three subparticles, which are electrons, protons, and neutrons. Now let's look at the relative charges of these subatomic particles. These are the particle. Proton is positive charge and has a relative mass of one. Electron is negatively charged. The relative mass is 1,000, 1 over 1,000, 
which is approximately to 0 0.0005 when you approximate it. Then the neutron has no charge, it is neutral, but has a relative charge, a relative mass of 1. So, neutron and proton, they have the same relative mass, while the electron is very, very small, which is 0 0.0005 approximately. Now, let us now move on to the atomic number and mass number. Atomic number and mass number. Let us represent A as our mass number and Z as our atomic number. Now, let's start from Z, which is atomic number. What's an atomic number? An atomic number is defined as the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom gives an atomic number. Why mass number A is the number, the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So Z, which is our atomic number, is equals to the number, equals to the number of protons. While the A, which is the mass number, is equal to the sum of protons and neutrons. Sum of protons and neutrons. So these are the atomic and mass number. So when your atomic number will equal to the number of protons, your mass number will equal to the proton and neutron. Now, sometimes when we have an atom to be neutral, an atom can be a neutral atom. A neutral atom is one which has not lost, not gained any electron. It hasn't lost any electron. So a neutral atom is going to have the same number of protons as its electrons, meaning that the atomic number of the neutral atom equals to the number of protons, also equal to the number of electrons. So if an atom has a proton to be equal to 5, and that atom is a neutral atom, it means that that atom also will have an electron of 5. We have an electron of 5. But whenever an atom has lost an uh, electron, when an atom lost an electron, it's going to become a positive, positive charge. If this S lost an electron, it becomes S plus. If it becomes S plus, it means it has lost one electron. But if it's gained one electron, it becomes what? X minus. So this is what we call cation, and why this one is called anion. So in this case, a neutral atom will have the same number of protons as its electron, while the mass number is going to be equal to the proton and neutrons. So this is everything about an atomic structure. We are going to be looking at the application of the mass number and atomic number in our subsequent class. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so and click the notification and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Thank you.